The battle today is going to be between the Northwind Solo in white gold, which is actually a lamination that North Star will not be doing into 2022, and a Clipper Solitude, another 15 and a half foot canoe that I purchased used a while back and just kind of had around because I think it's a nice stable platform for beginner solo paddlers. The gentleman that's going to be paddling this today is over 200 pounds, new to canoeing, and is looking for a boat that he can paddle kind of up in the sound and the lakes around the uh, high cascades. He's going to be taking his dog some and he's very new to solo canoeing. All right, so there's the clipper I just wanted to show on top of my truck because I really think it's cool how this kind of mirrors a kayak shape, which is, you know, lower in the stern and then gets deeper up here with a little more rocker for buoyancy, flotation, and maneuverability. So you have a dry bow, but still, you know, kind of a stern that's not going to get affected by the wind. So it's kind of that modern solo canoe shape. And um, you can also see that that wide spot is right about where that line right there is. So this boat will probably lean and then stiffen up a little bit. As we go to the north wind solo, which I've of course shown before, you still have some of that asymmetrical hull. So you have that lower stern, a little more depth up in the bow, more rocker up in the bow, an extra inch. Um, but you can see the wide point being, you know, up higher. So this boat's going to certainly be more inviting to the edge, but it'll be curious to see how it plays out. Does this have too squirrely of a feel for our new paddler? And do they prefer that more shallow arched lower shoulder stability of the clipper and here are both of the canoes side by side you can see how much fuller this clipper is even though they're both about the exact same length also if you look side by side that solitude is certainly a much deeper boat as well um, especially in the middle so maybe that'll give the stability to our new paddler and kind of a feeling of safety um, the clipper here is a fiberglass so it is heavier it has the tractor bucket seat that slides and a foot brace. And then I have the Northwind Solo set up how I like to set them up, which is in the higher position for kneeling. And uh, my Cook Custom Sewing seat pad with saddlebags, which are just a must have for me now. So relatively same height. Uh, you could probably kneel in that seat if you had to and wanted to, but probably designed more for sitting. Both have aluminum trim. North Star's aluminum trim is an in whale inside of here with an out whale, so it's a two piece trim. So you have an in whale here, out whale there. As we go over to the clipper, this is a one piece trim. And so, kind of one thing you see are the rivets popping through a little bit more. Um, this is going to maybe slightly be lighter, but not as stiff and not as nice on the hands. Let me come over here and you look, and the rivets are flush and you have a, just a little bit different feel. Just like that, yeah. You can go wide knee stance. Yeah. What is the J stroke? I've been watching your video. Initial stability, you, you notice it. So I'm just noticing that he can be more relaxed in the canoe. 
Uh, the dog's probably throwing off a little bit of the trim for him, so he's a little bit more bow. Okay, so we're into this test paddle. It's going pretty well. I think one of the number one uh, mistakes that I often see beginner solo canoeists do is being an improperly trimmed canoe. And that can happen like you have only one pack with you and you throw it way up front. Or in today's case, we have a dog. So Tessa weighs probably 50, 60 pounds and she's sitting forward of the uh, bow, uh, the thwart. And so that's definitely adding some bow weight. So what I'm gonna do today is just throw this dry bag into the boat with some extra water. A sliding seat can certainly help you accomplish that in some canoes. Um, but that'll help offset that weight and um, hopefully equalize the boat a little bit more. Well, here they are coming in. So you can really see that the, with the Tessa sitting up front, the canoe is kind of rotating more around the bow of the boat, improperly trimmed. So that forces Arnold to work harder to correct. And once the boat gets off straight line, it really spins quickly. So let's get some weight back in there. Okay, so I just put some rocks in the back of the canoe right there. And now we're trimmed out a little bit better. So there's Tessa, she did a great job getting her life jacket off, PFD, uh -huh. but one of the things that is key for paddling with your dog is making sure that they do not slip around. So this is just the North Star's T-pad, or now the new trapezoid pad, and I like to have one dedicated to dogs. So this is not even my dog, this is Tessa, but we got her sitting in the compartment next to me, and now I can use my, my thighs there to kind of control her hips, and that gives her some security. It's like a weighted blanket. And um, also I'm not throwing off the trim and I can obviously grab onto her if I need to. Um, so she's doing pretty well like this. And then my boat's definitely better trimmed here. All right, so one of the things that I'll do here, and it's pretty cool, Tessa doesn't know me at all, but she knows that my thighs right here are really holding onto her and she's leaning into it. She's like, oh, you know what you're doing. Okay, I'll hang, I'll hang. So I've made a new friend, right? Look at, new friend, <laughs> Tess. Good. Yeah, we're becoming buddies here. So it's kind of cool. You know, Tess is not like a bring me swimming water dog. And I actually think that's sometimes easier. I had an old golden retriever and he looked at this solo canoe like it was a diving board. In and out, in and out. And it was all cool. It was a fun little party trick, except he brought a gallon of water every single time. So your dog really, the better you become as a paddler, the more your dog will actually enjoy. Tess knows I'm not going over and we're buddies now. So my understanding here is that Tess knows the command wait, and that is a key command. You, if you're going to teach your dog one thing for paddling is that when you come to shore, your dog waits. And so the other thing that helps, of course, is that I got the grip on the thighs. So we're going to tell Tess, wait. No, that's a... <laughs> Come on, dear. There's a trip point. Well, I was going to say, kneeling, I, didn't, I thought I was like this much better. Yeah. I, don't, I think kneeling is... You're a kneeler. Yeah, well, I, I just feel... It's, to control the well, three, back, three points of contact instead of uh, yeah. one, you know. Okay, Tess, wait, 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 wait. So I still got her with my thighs. Wait. Good girl. Awesome. All right, this is. Arnold and Sunshine and their dog Tess. What did they decide? Well, the clipper still stays on the red truck back there. They went with the Northwind Solo. And then what's really cool is they got the white gold and North Star's not making that anymore. Um, but my friend Dan at Headwaters Kayak, check out his YouTube. He had a green one, he's moving. So they picked up a red and green. It's like Christmas, right? Yeah, <laughs> great experience, thank you. Awesome, all right, everybody, happy time. paddling. Uh, down the road they go and they are protecting their investment with Dan who covers. So thanks for watching. Thanks.